Hi, this is LJ Boppel with a Microsoft PowerPoint video where we'll do an overview of basic transitions. Transitions is basically the transition from one slide to another. And a good rule of thumb is in a slideshow presentation to stick with one transition type for your slideshow. Unless you have a very long slideshow, say more than 16 to 20 slides, and have broken it up into maybe sections. Or maybe you have a 24 slide uh, presentation and you have it broken up into, of course, your title page and an introduction page and then maybe a section one with several pages or slides, uh, section two with a few more slides and section three with a few more slides. You might consider doing one transition type for each section and, and on the section um, entry page and then from there have the remaining pages go to the same transition as each other but different from the section but when you're coming to a very short slideshow it really isn't great to have uh, more than one transition style because it can get confusing to folks especially since some folks you know if they're having to try to watch this depending on their visual acuity um, whether they get headaches or other issues from too much visual stimulus and so on so we're going to stick with one transition type in this slideshow, although we will explore more than one to see what they look like. But that's that's the idea. So I basically have modified this particular slideshow so that we can still have a home page, but a different color theme palette. I've made the text um, workable here for another slide we'll use. This is where we wanted to see um, in the uh, themes what happened with the grunge and it turned out the grunge was applicable to things other than what we had um, showing so this is an example of what the grunge effect that one can do in the um, design variance effects and then choose something different here whether it's frosted glass you can see how these are changing but anyway i just wanted to show that but what we're going to do is we're going to start with page one. And the idea is you want your slideshow to have some sort of smooth and attractive transition from slide to slide. Otherwise, when you run the slideshow, as you could do from the status bar down here, lower right hand corner, slideshow icon, it may be in a slightly different place on a Mac or a different operating system, but there's hopefully also a very easy to get to slideshow starter. Um, icon or you can go to the equivalent of your slideshow <laughs> now it's giving me all sorts of tips your slideshow um, ribbon and start from the beginning or from a current slide maybe you're doing it halfway through a 20 slide slideshow and you want to just look at the last four slides you could do that but from beginning we're going to click this and this is designed by default to simply move forward when you hit an arrow button or an enter button. And you notice it's just going boom, 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 and then it ends, and that's it. The transition can be a nicer. We'll go to the transitions tab, and you have a variety of types of transitions. And once you select one, you can prove um, you could preview it, and then you could change the duration of it and how it works. So let's go in here and look for something. Now, Microsoft PowerPoint keeps changing how they organize these to what they consider subtle and exciting now used to be like, you know, labeled differently. But in the end, different people will think different things are subtle or flashy. One of my favorites tends to be like the glitter. The vortex can be a lot of fun. The blinds, let's do the blinds. We're gonna select this and then when you select it, um, you'll be able to view, as you select it, a quick preview. There you go. And if you miss the preview, you can, on the transitions ribbon at the far left, click the preview again. So there's your preview. Now, let's take a look over here at your slide preview panel. Notice that on this home slide where we applied the blinds, there's a little animated looking star, and it indicates there's an animation. But there's no star on these other ones. So what you can do is go through and do the same thing and go back down and look for blinds. Where did the blinds go? And do them one at a time. But that's really old because that gets old if you have a really long slideshow. Or you can click a slide in your preview, hold down your shift key and click another slide so you have more than one selected and then come over and uh, change them. 
now you can see that each one of your slides has the animation icon on it. Now I'm going to go to the first page, and instead of going to the slideshow ribbon, I'm just going to come down to my little um, status bar slideshow uh, starter icon and click it. There's the first transition. And hitting enter, there's the second one. This is actually kind of attractive. And there you go. But not everyone's going to like that. So let's pick a different one. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on um, the slide three here. And then let's see, I'm going to pick, oh, I wonder what morph does. Eh, I don't really like that. Split. Okay, that's something. So I'm going to, to now run the slideshow again from the start. There we go. Wait a minute, that's not the new one. Wait a minute, that's the new one. And that's not the new one. Well, of course it's because, and I'm hitting exit now, that's because I didn't bother to do it to all of the slides. Now I have to remember which slides have it, which ones don't, or I can go to the slide that I did it and come up here to the transitions and then look over here in the timing and see the lovely apply to all button. Click that. And now when I run the slideshow again, which I'm trying to remember, is that an F5? It is. You can also press the F5 key. Now the transition that I selected for this slide is applied to all of them. So you really have different ways to protect yourself. You can, you know, it's just a good rule of thumb, especially if you end up on an older version of, of PowerPoint, to start by making your slide transitions on your first slide and then applying it forward. But you have different ways to recover if you accidentally get excited on a slide. Say, no, I'm going to try this here instead. And then you want to apply it to all of your slides. Let's just choose one more transition. See if I see one that I generally like is glitter. There we go. And then I'm going to apply to all. Now, another thing you could do is you can add a sound to it. This isn't really useful if you're in a meeting. What I mean by a sound, a canned sound, not an over you know, speaking, um, talking, but just a sound like applause or something. This can get annoying really fast. Although you could do this on one slide and not apply it to all others using the same transition, but on one slide, maybe you're showing a pile of money, then you could do the coins or something. But I'm going to go ahead and do the... There's a whoosh, there's a wind. I'm going to do the chime, see what happens, apply to all. And notice over here, when you apply the sound, it will show it while you're on the slide. And since I just applied it to all, all of the slides will show this. Now, I'm not sure if my volume up is high enough. It looks like it should be, so let's find out what happens. I don't know if you could hear that little sound you know a couple of slides is kind of cool but if you were to see this on every one especially if you were running this like a movie rather than moving a slide every two minutes or so after talking about the main points it could get annoying but on the other hand it could be really interesting it's up to you i'm going to go ahead and remove this sound from this the other thing you could do is consider what the duration of this this is in terms of, of seconds so if I wanted this to be five seconds, and then apply to all. Well, actually, let's do it so it's something a little more dramatic. So let's do it just for two seconds. Two seconds, uh, typing in there and then clicking enter and then apply to all. Let's see if it makes the transitions faster. Wait a minute, what happened? That sound should not be there. So you do notice it's faster, but, oh, I know. Okay, so let's go back out here and no sound and apply to all. Now none of them should have sound. There we go. See, it's very easy to make a mistake, but it's also very easy to fix it. So I don't mind making mistakes on here. Another thing you could do is how you advance the slide. Right now the default is to advance it on your mouse click or the enter button or the um, arrow button. They all work the same way. However, you could always do it based on after a certain period of time. So say I wanted this to be after oh, five seconds. Let's see what happens here. And I'm going to apply to all. 
Now I want to see if this actually automates, uh, automates it for me. Okay, no sound, that's good. Now we're waiting. And there it goes. I'm not pressing enter or the arrow button or anything. It's just doing this every five seconds. Now this is good if you're doing it in sort of a movie format. If you're doing this for an actual meeting where you need to stop and talk, then you won't want to do an automatic thing. Look at that Starbucks drink. That just looks so tasty. You could tell I'm a Starbucks addict. <laughs> so those are a few things that you could do with uh, transitions. And um, I hope that that was helpful to you. It makes it seem like it's easy. Just remember, when you set a transition, try to keep it simple and select one for fairly short slideshows. And then also make sure to apply it to all. And anytime you make a change that you want to happen to the slideshow, make sure that you re-click apply to all so that all of the slides share the same thing. You may decide you want a different transition on the first page and then on the others. That's okay too. Then you wouldn't apply to all. But if you basically want to have all sound or no sound or change the duration and have it for consistency of people watching things, then that's where you would apply to all. So thank you for sticking with me.